welcome to Power Tips 365 with Shelley Fischel. In today's tip, we're going to learn about how you can edit a document online, whether that's a Word document, an Excel spreadsheet, or a PowerPoint presentation. You don't have to be using your desktop application to make those quick edits to something that someone has shared with you, perhaps. So, without any further ado, let's go and jump right in and get started. Here we are in Lisa Jones' OneDrive folder, where she has a couple of folders and some documents. So you can see that there are some presentation, uh, PowerPoint presentations, and a Word document, and she doesn't actually have an Excel spreadsheet. But we're going to have a look at editing a Word document. So all Lisa needs to do is come into her OneDrive folder, and you'll remember she'll go through the little application finder up there and go into OneDrive and we're already there and here's the document I want to play with and it's called here's a test document for OneDrive or I've got edit a document online so let's go and have a look at that simply click on it you'll notice that it's a live link because you get the hand and here is the document when your document first opens you'll see its title at the top the person whose OneDrive we're in over here you can still navigate to other parts of your Office 365 and over here on the right we have some further commands edit a document, print it, share it with somebody else or add some comments and the three little dots often offer you more options but today we're going to focus on our edit document tip so there it is edit document click the drop down and I'm offered two choices edit the document in Word using the full functionality of Microsoft Word that means it will actually open it up in a local copy on your computer or I can edit it in Word Online and that's the choice I'm going to make just now so I'll click on edit in Word Online you'll see that it all changes and now we are in a functioning copy of Microsoft Word but we're actually online on the internet working in the browser now I'm using the Edge browser because this is my um, Surface laptop which has been upgraded to Windows 10 and Edge is the new browser that comes with Windows 10. So if you're thinking that the browser doesn't look familiar, that would be why. Now whilst we're here, we'll see there's all the text. If I, I've got the title at the top, I can actually change the title by clicking into where it says edit a document online. So I can say, uh, um, doc document editing instead and I've renamed that document. I can get back to Lisa's OneDrive from here and I can select my text just like that. I could make it bold, I can change its colour by choosing something from the palette, so we'll go orange and I can work with this text just like I can in the full functioning copy of Word and I can add text to it and you'll see that it, as, as you would expect, it picks up the formatting. So again, I can select that, take it back to automatic and take off the bold. I do need to reselect it. And as you will be sure to notice, it's gone back to normal. Editing a document online is really, really easy. I've got my home ribbon with some icons on it. So my font formatting, my paragraph formatting and some styles. I can find and replace. I can add things to my document so I can add a picture. If I choose picture it will go and offer me where do I want to get a picture from. I'm not going to do that just yet. And I can do things like headers and footers. I can go to page layout and choose my margins, my orientation. So all the things that you would want to do with your document under review I can check the spelling and add comments you'll notice that it is a slightly less full menu online and I can view editing view or reading view and I can also view my headers and footers and so you'll see that editing my document online is really a cinch. Having edited the document online I now want to get back to my OneDrive so that I can show you how to edit perhaps a PowerPoint presentation. So I'll click up here on where it says Lisa Jones and that will take me right back into Lisa's OneDrive folder much quicker than going all the way back to the beginning. Now I can click up here and I can choose this Beijing Lisa perhaps um, presentation so if I click on that one it will open up in PowerPoint online and you'll see this has got three slides, slide one of three and I can go 
through those there's a picture of the forbidden city but what if I want to change that I've said we started out in Beijing a fab city perhaps I want to change that to fabulous so I'll click up on edit presentation and I'll choose edit in PowerPoint online and you'll see just like in Word it opens up online and I can now select fabulous fab and type fabulous a fabulous city and if I can't spell I can check the spelling and I'd like to add an exclamation mark. When I've finished, I can simply go back to Lisa Jones and what this is going to show you is that you actually don't need to save when you're working in line online and I'll show you that by going to the next slide. There are my changes. When you work online, you Word Online, PowerPoint Online, Excel Online, they save your changes automatically. So again, to get back to Lisa's OneDrive, I'll just click Lisa Jones over here and off I go, all hunky-dory, ready to carry on editing the next document that I need to edit. Thanks for joining me in today's Power Tips 365 little video blog where we've learnt about editing documents online. For more information about how the IT training surgery can help you and your organisation, why not give us a call on 0208 203 1774. Visit our website www.theittrainingsurgery.com or drop us an email from the contact form on the website. I'd love to hear from you and we love helping our clients get more productive and save time. And working with Office 365 is something that's going to help you do exactly that.